Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 28th of 2021, well, it is titled a paper moon solar eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image put together from a couple of different images uh, of the solar eclipse that we saw back earlier this month. And what we see again, this is two images taken together and then put together. So the first image would have been of the eclipse and that shows the eclipse there where you see the bite taken out by the moon, the moon being right off to the right hand side of the sun and taking a bite off of it. And the sun was seen to rise like this uh, from some parts of the eastern United States. And then to get the detail in the sun, you need a different kind of image and a different kind of filter. And what is taken is a what they use is an H alpha filter, hydrogen alpha, which looks just at a specific wavelength length of light given off by hydrogen gas. So when the sun excites the hydrogen gas, which makes up about 90% of its composite composite atoms, then it is uh, that is what we see glowing there. So we see actually some of the higher regions on the sun, not what we call the photosphere or its ordinary surface that we see when we look at the sun at sunrise or sunset. This is a little bit higher area called the chromosphere. The chromosphere is a little bit hotter than the photosphere and gives off more of this specific light as it excites the hydrogen better. So we can see a lot of detail and structures there within the chromosphere, including some lighter and darker areas. And we can also see solar prominences off around the limb of the sun. So things that you normally would not be able to see without a solar telescope. And that's how the second image was taken. And then you can combine the two images, put the solar image in where the image of the sun would have been from the eclipse to get the image that we see in our picture for today. So not an actual picture that you could have taken directly with just one image. It required a lot of work to get separate images of this and to be able to put them together to allow you to see this image, which shows a couple of different things, including the eclipse that we saw, as well as seeing some of the details and structures on the surface of our sun, or I should say in the chromosphere of our sun. Now I did mention sunrise a little bit earlier and I should say that I misstated that that was incorrect. Uh, that is when we saw the eclipse from those in the eastern part of the United States. However, this picture was taken in China, which was on the other end of the eclipse path. And for those they saw the eclipse going on as the sun was setting. So in this case, we're looking off to the west at sunset as the eclipse occurred. So uh, depending on exactly where you were in the world, if you happen to be on the eclipse path, if you were on one side of it, you got to see this at sunrise. And at other points, you got to see it at sunset. And of course, other places much further north saw it during the middle of the day. So that was our picture of the day for June the 28th of 2021. It was titled a paper moon solar eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Hubble's Orion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.